Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Fayui Mini NVR Home Security System. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Here's how it comes packaged to you in a really nice retail box. Lots of great product photography and information for you to learn more about this product. IR night vision, Wi-Fi, so they are wireless. You just have to plug them in to a power supply. Has motion detection, PIR, human detection, supports SD card storage, 1080p HD, and it has two-way audio. So guys, this is so cool. Excited to get this set up for you guys. They even have the QR code to their app to download so you can view this from your phone. And I love this mini NVR concept, so I can't wait to see that out of the box. So let's go ahead now and open it up. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have a nice user guide and user manual walking you through how to set up the mobile app to get it downloaded and to learn more about your camera complete with diagrams and screen grabs. You have a QR code for the IP Pro app right here, or you can just search for the IP Pro app on the iOS or Android app stores. Then you can see we got three kits of wall anchors, one for each camera and one for the mini NVR system. We have your two camera power supplies right here. They're both identical, look great. We'll plug in just with that DC plug. Then we have your power supply for the mini NVR. It's got a USB brick right here and a micro USB cable that will plug into the mini NVR. Let's look at the mini NVR now. We got a QR code on it we're gonna have to use for setup. We have your sync button right here, your micro SD card slot for storage, your ethernet port right here to plug it into your router and your network, and your DC five volt micro USB port right there for the power supply. Love the mini antennas. We even have some LED light indicators right there. We got a speaker at the top. Everything just looks great. Love their logo and branding on it. Love the little antennas. That's so cool. They fold back down. Then we can see at the bottom right here where we could mount it. If we want to place this on a wall somewhere, we could do that and that will look really cool. Look at how tiny it is. Super lightweight, guys. Really impressed. I just love the small form factor and that they can just use a micro SD card for your footage locally. So that's just awesome. Love this whole concept. And now guys, last but not least, the two cameras, they look really, really cool. So we got a nice antenna right here that can be configured in a couple of different ways. Love that it has two hinges on it. We can adjust the position of the camera right here really easily. So that's great too. You can see on the back, we got your grommet right there. So it'll keep everything weatherproof and help keep moisture and all the elements out from your house or wherever you mount this, especially if you're gonna be mounting it outside. And so it's nice that they work in the cable right there too, if you can't drill a hole through the wall or something like that. Then we can see the power end right here. We got your DC in, and then this is gonna be just a little reset button for you. So that's super simple, guys. The cameras are identical. They look really cool. I just love the size. They're so different than the usual security cameras that I've reviewed. So it just looks really nice, really cool. Got that nice little orange band around there too and their branding on it and just love the size. It's, it's compact, it's smushed. It looks intimidating to me in a great way. So that's just my initial reaction right there. You can see some of your sensors and the lens right on the front right there. So everything just looks nice. Got your speaker in the back. Not sure if you'll be able to see that from the camera angle since it's kind of blocked by the mount, but everything looks really sweet. And again, the cameras are identical and just have a great little design to them that I have yet to see in a security camera. So just love how they look. And again, love seeing the dual hinged antenna right there. Just nice to have a little bit more um, leeway in your placement of how you want the antenna to be to make sure you have optimized signal in your area and where you choose to install them. Now let's go ahead, let's get that app downloaded, let's get these plugged in and set everything up. So I'm back here now with everything set up. I want to point out that the Amazon description says it does not come with a micro SD card. I went to put a micro SD card 
into the Mini NVR and it already had a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in there. I don't know if I just got lucky and that was a mistake or the listing has not been updated yet, but you may get a micro SD card with it. Just don't assume you will and just be pleasantly surprised if that's the case for you. Also want to point out while we're talking about micro SD cards, it supports up to 128 gigabyte micro SD cards. So now that everything's set up, we got the cameras plugged into their power supplies, the mini NVR is powered on, we have a network cable connected to it, and I can check all the lights right here. The network light is green and lit up, then we have one and two lit up as well. So we still have slots three and four open if we ever wanted to add more cameras. Now you should have the IP Pro app downloaded on your mobile device. You'll be at this home screen right here where we need to go to the top right hand corner, hit the plus icon and add a new device. So we're gonna add a kit today and you can see there's so many different ways to add a device. We can even just scan the code to add the device and we have the code right on top of the mini NVR. So let's go ahead, let's select kit. Now it's gonna choose nearby devices. It already found it right there. And why I know that is because that number matches what's on the QR code. So we can go ahead, we can select that and now it's gonna add it for us. The device was successfully added. It did prompt me to add a password for security if I wanted to, I chose to skip that. So we can name the device right here. We're just gonna name it device two is fine. So device two, and then we could choose a room or areas around the house for this item. So we can go ahead and hit complete. I don't wanna do that right now. And now it's gonna finish setting it up. All right, setup was successful. You can see on the home screen now, we have the device right here, device two, and we have an option for those four cameras. So three and four are unpaired because we only have the two cameras set up and have not added a third or fourth camera yet. But if you do, that's exactly what it will look like right there to have a preview of all four of your devices. So we can see camera one and camera two right here. We have the option to share, view info, playback and settings right from within there. And then we can tap on that big play button and we can actually go into each camera's individual settings. So let's go ahead, let's do that now for camera one. We're gonna go into camera one. It's showing us the transmission in the top right corner. We got the date and the time right here. We have your playback options and your standard def. So let's go ahead, let's go from SD, let's go to HD. So we just gotta go ahead and hit it and now we're in HD. Picture quality is really clear and crisp already and we haven't even taken it outside or done any other testing outside of the studio right here. But look at all the details it preserves. So I'm already impressed just by seeing it right here. You may notice there is a delay between what's showing on the app, my actions and what's playing in the camera. So it's definitely got a little bit of a lag to it, which you can expect given that it's a wireless system right here. But everything from the initial go around looks really intuitive, easy to use, the app is clean. So first thing we can see in the top right hand corner are some additional settings. So we have your backup and your setup options. So let's go ahead, let's hit the backup and see what we have here. So we can choose channel one, start and end time. So that's pretty neat, so you could choose that. There we go, and then it says searching. So select backup video. So it's only got a couple of things to choose from right here. We could choose all and download them. So that's if you wanna find footage from the NVR really quick on your phone, you can do that and then save them right to your device. Then we go back in the settings and hit setup. And it's gonna show us all the device details right here, the model number software. If we want push notifications, motion detection sensitivity, lowest low, middle high, highest. Then we have recording. If we wanna turn recording on or off and we can do firmware updates right there or delete the device. Let's go ahead, let's save those settings. Now we're back in here, let's view playback. So here's playback. Obviously we haven't had this recording for long enough to have any real substantial playback right here but there it is. Once we have this recording for a while, we'll be able to see a lot more, and then we can zoom in or out with this nice slider. So we just fired this up, so the only footage we have to play back is just from right here, that little red sliver. So that's really cool though, and then you can 
also do some recording. You can listen in and do screen grabs. So let's go back. Let's push play. So there it is. Oops, that's from earlier today, actually. So that's the old footage. We want to go back to real time. So let's hit real time. Now we can do a screenshot. So it just did a screenshot. You can see it right there. I just clicked on it and there is the screen grab right under this folder for the IP Pro app. So we can view that image that we just took. So that's really nice guys, you can view that and then we can do a video as well. So once it stops buffering, now we can go and start recording. So we're capturing the footage in real time right now. And then we just hit stop. Now we can click on it and we'll see our four second video right there that if we want to play it back, so we can do really it. Nice guy. You can see that. And then we can do a video. So just from that little four second clip, we could already sample the audio and the microphone did a great job picking up my voice. So that's really nice guys, great quality already. And the same settings can be had for the second, third, and fourth cameras as well. So now just for fun, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test out the two-way audio. Just testing out the two-way audio right here using the comp mode to see how everything sounds. Hopefully it's nice, clear, and crisp for you. So we just tested out the intercom system. Let me know what you guys think about that feature below. Now I want to show you on the home screen really quick a couple more options that we have for the device and the settings we can control. We have a share functionality right here if we want to choose to share the device and which rights we want people to be able to use. Then we have some info about the device. So if we have alarm messages and alerts, they'll show up right here. So you can see what a motion detection alert looks like gives you a timestamp, which device and which channel. So that's really nice. You can even filter them out once you have a bunch in there. We have your playback settings. So you can choose the channels right here and enter into that. So go ahead, hit confirm, and it's gonna play back and show you what we can do. So let's get out of that again since we already saw that earlier. And then we have your settings tab, takes you right into the device settings. We can even view some general settings like device storage. You can format the SD card right here and view the available space and capacity. So that's really nice. Also, I want to point out the user guide said as soon as you insert a micro SD card, it automatically initiates recording for you. We can see firmware, set signal path. So we have your time settings as well. We have channel settings and we have some setup passwords too if you wanted to do any of that for extra security. So that's really nice guys from that settings tab, you can get into everything you could possibly need to change and tweak right there. So that's great. Now let's go ahead, let's test out that microphone quality again in a little more detail and see how the cameras do by then installing them outside and getting some daylight and nighttime footage. So we're here with the security camera in my studio going in a little more detail to show you the raw audio from this camera and what the microphone captures so you can get a good feel for the quality of this microphone and security camera setup by listening to this raw audio. So hopefully this test just helps you gauge for yourself the quality of this microphone and it's so nice to have a security system with a microphone built in because I'd rather have the audio and not need it than need to have the audio and not have it. Here it is guys, we got the camera installed outside. Installation was really simple. You can see right here we got three screws that just go right in. I got it into this wood board with the cord running down the outside. You could also drill a hole through here if you wanted or through your house and run the cord to an interior power source or something like that if you wanted. But it looks great right there, really cool. Love the way it looks. The cameras are just really sweet. Just love everything about this design and how compact yet thick everything is. And then again, we got the antenna with the double hinge. Could go straight up, go back just like that, and we can rotate it whatever direction is best for our signal strength right there. So it looks really, really cool.
So now that the camera system has been installed for a couple of days, we have it all ready to go to look at some more of the features in depth. The first thing we can see right here is the notifications and what that looks like on your phone in your taskbar. So you can see IP Pro motion detection right there. So you could click on that notification and go right into the app. Now for fun, we can look at the camera and kind of scrub back through some of the footage that it recorded. So we can see it in real time right now. Everything looks great. Love the clarity of the footage right there. And then we can even go to the playback tab. And now it's super easy. So it's showing you all the clips that it has recorded. It's all those little red icons on the timeline. So it hasn't recorded that much with the motion detection feature. And if you wanna just do a quick scrub to those, just hit that little back arrow by the calendar right there and it's gonna show you the footage. So it detected motion right here. You can see somebody coming out with a dog right there on the deck and this is late at night. So you can get a good feel for the footage. And then watch, that light comes on as well. Look at how harsh that light is and how good of a job the camera's doing to compensate at night for those lights. Look at how good everything looks. Then we can keep going back as well to see more footage of the dog in the yard. And then the last motion alert we have right there that it recorded was me playing with the camera in the studio. So that looks great. And it's really does a nice job for everything. Then we can go in that top right corner again. If we wanted to save this footage and get the video files, we can hit that backup tab. And so now it's gonna take a second to load. It's gonna show you all the clips I've already saved to back up that I wanted to have to use for this video right here. But then we can go ahead and hit more so we can hit the add video backup. And now we can choose by camera channel. So which camera do we want? One or two is what we have right here. And then you can choose the day, month, time, and it will save any of the clips that we have right there. So let's just say, let's go back maybe yesterday. So you can kind of get a feel for this. We'll hit next. When's the start time? When's the end time? So let's start it for the whole day. It'll search for us. Here's all the different clips it has from that day that it captured. So then you can just pick and choose which ones you want or choose them all. Hit download, it'll save them straight to your mobile device right here so you can always view that footage and don't have to worry about losing that footage sometime down the road. So it's really packed full of a lot of great features. Having that 1080p quality is really nice. You can get some high definition footage back to play in view so we can see this clip right here. So look at all that. It looks really nice. You can see people in the shot and look at how great the quality is. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing and review video. I'm definitely impressed with this system overall. It's super easy to use, plug and play. You could see that within this video. The IP Pro app is decent in regards to like a third party security camera app to use. The only feature I'm not seeing for these cameras, which I thought it might have, but I've not been able to find it anywhere, is I wish there was ability to make the NVR record 24 seven what the cameras are seeing. What it does by default, and I haven't found a way to change it within the app, is it only records footage when a motion alert is triggered. So once it sees movement, it starts to film for as long as there's movement, but I haven't found the ability to just have it turn on to record 24 seven. So if for some reason you've seen that in the IP Pro app or you have a different experience, let us know in the comment section below. That may help some other people. But it does a great job recording those motion alerts as you could see, and you don't have to pay for a cloud storage plan. So that's definitely an added bonus that you can access that footage anywhere and then save it in high quality on your phone. You may have seen it earlier in the video too. Some of the quality when I was testing out the audio in my studio was grainy and choppy and laggy. That's because I was recording it in real time over my Wi-Fi network to save that footage directly to my phone. Obviously, if you're just downloading the footage from that NVR and saving it to your phone, it's gonna be a lot higher quality. You're gonna get that good 1080p without as much lag, delay, that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to save some footage on your phone in real time. It's gonna be at the mercy of your network bandwidth and your mobile device. But overall, I think it's a pretty good system. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts below on what you think about this system. If you would buy it, if you already own it, or what system you like to use instead at this similar price point. So hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily. Can't wait for you guys to see our next video. So be sure to follow us on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. 
Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It means the world to us, and we hope to see you in our next video. Thanks.